Välkommen till programmet Tråk under som vi sänder från Mediemission International precis som vanligt halv tio på fredag kvällen. Jätteroligt att du finns med oss och ikväll har vi ett mycket intressant program. Vi ska tala om Irak. I studion har jag Hanna Hauka, du är grundare och president och så har vi Hanne Hanein som är chef och ansvarig för den arabiska avdelningen. Välkomna. Tack. Innan vi pratar om Irak så vill jag återigen, som vi alltid gör, tacka dig för de gåvor som du har gett oss. Vi gör det här tillsammans. Vi har sagt under många år nu att, att missionsfamiljen den växer och vi är så beroende av att det finns missionshjärtan. Som du har märkt i de här programmen som vi har haft nu i många år så försöker vi inte prata så mycket om pengar i sig själv utan vi vill gärna lyfta fram visionen och hjärtat, det som en gång föddes för över 40 år sedan i Hanna och Lauras hjärtan. Och vi tror att under våra program, via vår tidning och våra vänbrev som kommer ut regelbundet varje månad så tror vi att det finns människor i Sverige som känner ett hjärta för det som vi står i och det vi får uppleva. Och vi har berört så många länder och ikväll så ska vi prata om ett land. It's a new country for us. It's mm-hmm. a very special country, Iraq. Mm-hmm. Yes, and, yes. And, and Hani and Hanno, you have recently been in that very for us in Sweden, in, in Scandinavia. It's an uncommon country, strange country for some of us. And maybe we are also curious about this country. Mm-hmm. So tell us about... Uh, First, maybe we'll talk about what we have done in the Arabic uh, region, the Arabic world. And Hanna, you have been mm. the leading of this work for many years now. Yeah, we, uh, thank you for uh, interviewing us here. And we've been here uh, like um, in the front of camera. Sometimes it is the most easiest, you know, to sit here <laughs> in air condition and so on. But when we touch the land there in Middle East, in Islamic nation, we see how much people are suffering a lot and how people are so eager to know God. That's why it gives to us this power that how we can reach mm-hmm. them. Uh, of course, we are media house. We are broadcasting our programs on 16 satellite channels, which is if we uh, account like potentially every day we are reaching 100 million people. Of so of course, and mm-hmm. uh, plus, uh, of course, we have follow-up team in every countries. Sometimes it is underground churches. We have some cell groups who are working with uh, uh, ex-Muslims, and those people are, of course, they wanted to grow in faith. Okay. Mm-hmm. And now, what 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 we, what we have seen the last years now about mm-hmm. ISIS and what have come out of. You know the, the last half. You know what can you say about the condition in the, in the whole region, Arabic mm. uh, region? God is moving. God is touching people. Mm. Yeah. What we, what would you say, um, honey? Mm. When the Arabic Arabic Spring happened? Yes. Yeah. What was happening spiritually? You know, um, sometime when we have heard the first time of Arabic Spring, everybody were rejoicing about that. Uh, mm. We uh, we were mm. eager for changes. But uh, by somehow it was like um, all everything is collapsed. The picture there it was really dark. But God turned all situation for good. Mm-hmm. For example, people they uh, were um, eager to be changed for some like economically uh, for mm-hmm. better family uh, for better life. Mm-hmm. But the problem, you know, like we see the hidden agenda of evil. So try to destroy the mm. faith of people. Mm-hmm. Christians, they were uh, astonished because mm. Muslims mm-hmm. and ISIS mm-hmm. raised. Mm-hmm. When ISIS raised <clears throat> and killing people in, in mm-hmm. massive way, so we see our spiritual life start to be in like a turning mm-hmm. point. Yeah, yeah. Shall we bow uh, before mm-hmm. God or shall we uh, mourning yeah. uh, for that? So we start to pray mm-hmm. more and even work more yeah. to reach uh, people. Yeah, I think uh, what, <clears throat> what is important is, is exactly what Hani said. Mm-hmm. When Arabic Spring started <clears throat> some years ago, the expectations were very great. Mm-hmm. Expectations for better life, more freedom, yeah. mm-hmm. and it would, would have been a time where you know, Christians would be able to move out and actually really meaningfully evangelize perhaps. Mm-hmm. But uh, the opposite was true. 
it was the it was the opportunity for ISIS to rise up. Yes. And they rose up, and you saw what has happened in the last few years. Yeah. Yes. So Arabic Spring turned out to be a curse yeah. in many places. Yeah. Yes. And uh, so, but uh, but God is not He is not hostage. No. God has no. a plan. He has a key for every single nation in the Middle East, yes. every single Islamic nation. God has a plan for that. Yeah. Not only it's just there, you know, they exist. It's not just a question of existence. God has a specific plan how to reach those people. Yeah. Yes. And we are seeing, you know, through the ministry uh, of IRR TV, through Hani and his team, we are seeing what God's plan is starting to look like for the uh, Islamic nations. Yeah. Yeah. And what is the good for that? ISIS reveal the spirit of Islam. Mm. Because sometimes, you know, um, here in West, you know, some people, they said Islam is a peaceful religion. And we were struggling with that because if you read the Quran and the Hadith and all the history, mm -hmm. you see it was uh, built on uh, blood and shit. Yeah. You know, and yeah. that's why when ISIS came, it gives the real yeah. picture yeah. of this religion. That's, true. Uh, that's why, you know, like we said, okay, now we have to turn to God yeah. because it is opportunity, as Hanu said, mm -hmm. to take it. Yeah. And if God is calling you, take it for granted yeah. because you mm -hmm. cannot ask flesh when God calling you. Yeah. Go ahead and preach the mm -hmm. gospel. And the road is not, you know, like mm -hmm. uh, covered by roses, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it, the road is very hard and mm -hmm. we have to be ready to pay the price if yeah. we mm -hmm. want yeah. to reach mm -hmm. Islamic yeah. nations. That, that reminds me of, uh, of Erbil. We were in uh, northern Iraq yeah. in the big city, the mega city of Erbil in uh, 2013. That's right. It is a place where Western missionaries would not go to. No. It's yes. not the place. It's like, you know, when Jonah in the Bible, mm -hmm. God said, you go this way, this is Nineveh, that way. He went that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the same way today, yes. many, many Christians and many missionaries are saying, that is not the place that I want to go to. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. But, uh, you know, God sent us to Erbil, yeah. Yes. And there was, uh, as Hani knows, we were able to, with, together with the churches, do a mega city campaign in Erbil with fantastic it, it, it results. Was, it was amazing, yeah. you know. Mm. Especially, you know, Christians, there were f few there, but uh, their voice was so low. Mm. And yeah. when we come, they said, we need this loud voice mm. to come and say that we mm. have really, you yeah. know, strong faith. And if you see the old region, mm. maybe I can show our viewers, you know, mm. uh, the, the red color, this is the most persecuted Christians, yeah. you know, and here we are reaching people. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the most needed, you mm -hmm. know, mission. Yeah. It has been many years been neglected, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, many people, they heard in media, you know, about, you know, Iraq and the war. But if you go there, you will test, you know, the really uh, hard yeah. time of Christians yeah. they are facing. Mm -hmm. But those people, they need you know, like mm -hmm. people from outside yeah. to come to say, we come mm -hmm. together yeah. mm -hmm. and to reach those people, they are persecuting mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you are not reaching the nice people, you are reaching mm -hmm. also, you know, the most mm -hmm. evil people, mm -hmm. which we, we say that, you know, like, if we don't take it right now, you know, we will lose mm -hmm. all the battle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure, we, we, we believe that mm -hmm. and we feel that yeah. there is a prophetic time where God is leading mm -hmm. our steps in mm -hmm. our mission work and mm -hmm. how God opened up new cities mm -hmm. and new, new, mm -hmm. new nations yeah. for us also. Yeah. And now, when mm -hmm. the, this is about Iraq, yes. because Iraq mm -hmm. is a specific mm -hmm. country mm -hmm. with, where God has opened up an opportunity for us to, to mm -hmm. contact and maybe mm -hmm. there is something in the pipeline we can see come, come forth. And you recently yeah. came back just a few days ago yeah. from, from Suleymaniyah. Yeah, we came, we came back from Suleymaniyah. There's a whole history of why we went back. But uh, for me, from my viewpoint, yeah. uh, to go back to a city deep in the heart of uh, northern Iraq, mm. deep inside Iraq, very close to the Iranian, Iranian border, there's a city with uh, a, a population of between 1.5 and 2 million people. It's a mega city. Like Stockholm, approximately. Yeah, it's like Stockholm, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's somewhere where, again, the Westerners don't really go there. No. It's not the place to go. You no, don't go to the beach. You don't mm -hmm. go to have a good time. <clears throat> if, if God doesn't send you there, like he said, Jonah to Nineveh, mm -hmm. you're probably not going to go to Suleymaniyah. Mm -hmm. But uh, we went there with uh, Hani, mm -hmm. and uh, we saw that the churches are thirsty for a move of God, a move of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in that great city. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And uh, they said, we just need help. We cannot do it alone. Uh, we don't have the tools. We don't have the know-how, but we have the thirsting yes. to see the Spirit of God mm. move in this city. Yeah. Yes, yeah. This is the key. When yeah. you have people, you know, like with mm. you, they are believing in, in the vision. Yeah. to reaching all the city, every single house. So you feel really, you know, you are overwhelmed, you know. And uh, since, you know, like the airplane landed and our feet mm -hmm. touch the land, you know, we see we would like to take it, you mm -hmm. know. Because we are fighting with time. You know, I would like to reach every city mm -hmm. in, at the same day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but our resources is really limited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you have a manpower and mm -hmm. a team mm -hmm. who believe in the vision, then I think 70% mm -hmm. of your mission is yeah. done. For, mm -hmm. for, I must, yeah, yes, for the viewers uh, to explain how, mm -hmm. we, we, when we talk about city mission, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not a campaign in a church. Mm -hmm. No. It's not a conference. It's, yeah. So let's yeah, just briefly mm -hmm. talk about how we do it, because this is, for a Swedish viewer, to do a yeah. city mission, a campaign in Iraq. It sounds mm -hmm. crazy for some yeah. of the... First of all, let me explain it. Mm -hmm. uh, normal church ministry usually takes place inside four walls. Mm -hmm. That's the church outreach normally. Mm -hmm. Very little is done outside the church walls. In these mega city campaigns, everything is done outside the city walls. Mm -hmm. You take the media that is in the city and you use every media that you can to propagate meaning, to send yes. the message that God gives you the power to change. But in this case, in Erbilis, mm -hmm. God gives you the power to forgive, forgive. to reconcile. Mm -hmm. And reconciliation is the very heart of the gospel. It's the very heart of Jesus. He came to reconcile men to God. Yeah. And so that is, the, that is the mission. Mm -hmm. And without the reconciliation and the forgiveness in the heart, there is no, there is no peace. No United Nations, no matter how much the United Nations tries, yes. no matter how many negotiations, peace, peace, peacekeeping forces you have, mm. peace will not come until no. there's yes. reconciliation mm. and forgiveness here. Yes. That is the heart of the gospel, and that is why yes. we need to go. Yeah. yeah, and also, you know, I noticed that, uh, you know, when people, I start to introduce the vision and say, hey, we know ab about you guys. Mm -hmm. The echo, you know, in Erbil, okay. it touch everybody mm. there. Uh -huh. In Beirut, and they are following that. And they said, we need to work. We need yeah. not to just, you know, to come with theory mm. things. We mm -hmm. need really to fight with the time. And especially in Sulmania, it is very close, as Hanu said, to Iran and to Turkey. And um, I think if we, you know, like uh, uh, get this uh, city, it will be the turning point in, in the Middle East because it is a beautiful city. It and is. of course it was hot, you know. 40, and 40, I, I, 44 <laughs> degrees. So we felt, yeah. you know, it is, uh, I said, God, give also, you know, uh, our hearts to be warm yeah. you know, for people and to, that we uh, came there to wash the feet for Christians and for the churches because we need really forgiveness, you know. Yeah. We need to get healing because many uh, churches are divided because of personal mm -hmm. problems. Yeah. But we need really to work on that. Mm -hmm. And I think if, if the church healed, yeah. then you know, it will be a, a, a key for them to go out. Because if you have nothing, you give nothing. Mm -hmm. If you have hatred in your heart, mm -hmm. you know, the hate you know, comes out. So, yeah, but if you have love, you yeah, love yeah. everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, what about, yeah. uh, I mm -hmm. think uh, the Sweden is curious about the churches in Iraq. Yeah. For example, this city. How many Christians uh, does the city have and how did the church mm -hmm. working out in the society? Yeah. And, well, do you, do you? Uh, Hani can answer that in a minute, but let me say that it, it's, it's only logical that in an Islamic country you, you will not have mega churches, super no, no. churches. No, no. So the Christians that. are actually quite small, and yes. you know, you know. The actually, difference. yeah. yeah um, never ask the, the you know the number of Christian in Islamic nation because many mm. are underground, yeah. and they no, but have. I mean, what you know? They, uh, they have the uh, a great concern not yeah. to tell about the numbers. Okay. And sometimes you know, like um, you cannot account like here maybe in West, you know, by easy way when you know, people they go to the church mm. because many people they don't have a church. No. They yeah. they, you know like have cell groups yeah. at home or it's somewhere. Underground church. But um, I believe you know like um, if God calling you to some place, he will provide. 
yeah. you know, the team and the manpower for you. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. if you consider Paul, Mm -hmm. He was alone sometime, yes. yes. going to the, some cities, spending two years mm -hmm. praying and so on, and yeah. God raised to him, you know, yeah. some yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. So what I've I, I been concerned is that if we really believe in the vision mm -hmm. and we go, so the, um, I believe God will prepare the land mm -hmm. for us. But we need a lot of prayer because it is not, you are not playing games mm -hmm. there. It is, it, is, uh, it is life. It's serious. You know, it's life serious. or death. Yes. 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 Life yes. or death. But in answer to your question, there may be anywhere from two to 400 Christians that we know of, but there could be many, many more that we don't know of, which yes. are the yeah. ones that are underground. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the big thing, I think, in Sulaymaniyah is that you have, you have the traditional churches that are also interested in seeing this happen, yes. which would be the Catholic Church is one. Mm -hmm. and then you have the Chaldeans, or Chaldeans in, in, mm -hmm. Chaldeans, yeah. Chaldeans. and the Asurian and so on maybe. Mm -hmm. So there are some of those as well. And also Christian from Erbil, they would like to come yes. over there yes. and help yeah. and so on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then maybe maybe a thousand Christians from Sweden will come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. To the great, yeah. I mean, yeah. Why yeah. not? Yes. It's a challenge yes. Yes. to yeah. go there to do, yeah. to do a real mission. Yes. yes. I mean, to yeah. go to, to Spain and France and Germany is one thing to yeah. evangelize, but to go to but, Iraq. But, so. but if God tells you to go, don't go the other way. Yes. No, no. You might end sure. up in the belly of a fish. Yes. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> but I mean, in, in, I mean, for us in Sweden, in Scandinavia, when we hear just about the nation Iraq, yeah. we have, mm -hmm. a, you know, a predicted picture of how things is and how the church is and how many Christians. Yeah. But, but we feel and you felt that you have an open... Oh, open, absolutely. Uh, open, um, great desire. Yes. There's a great yes. desire for that. Yes. For about the, the leaders. And so. yes. But what, what about the pastors, the leaders? I mean, what, ca what they, kind of conditions do they work yeah, in? They, they, they in, wanted, they yeah. were very interested. Actually, the last meeting, what we have, you yeah. know, of course, we have to evaluate situation in proper way, mm. not like, you know, with blind eyes, we go and uh, do the mission, of course, we need to investigate sure. and to make some researches. Be, be wise. Because yeah. it is, it is, yeah. Of course, you need to protect also local Christians. It mm. is not like the, you know, we fire the city in one month and 30 days and then you go. Of course, we come back to Finland and so on. But mm. local people, mm. they have to feel safe with yeah. us. Yeah. So that's why, you know, like you need to work yeah. so hard. Yeah. But Iraq is really in our hearts. Yeah. It, it has been long mm. time yeah. suffering under war. You know, daily people, yeah. they are seeing you know, uh, blood in, in you know, so, yeah. so that's why you need to work hard. Also, this generation, uh, mm. like if between thirty and fifty or mm -hmm. twenty mm -hmm. and forty, they really feel so stressed because their mind is mm -hmm. occupied with yeah. war. Mm -hmm. So you need to really to um, to have Holy Spirit power to to. Mm. Uh, you know, get yeah. into yeah. 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 But having said that, honey, I think we both felt that that the opportunity is, is there now, yes. and the open mm -hmm. door is there. And so God has led us specifically at this time into the city of Sulaymaniya. Mm -hmm. And while we were there, we received an invitation mm -hmm. to go to Mosul. Yes. And mm -hmm. as you know, I mean, the news yeah, in Sweden also is, is the same. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Mosul is totally, almost totally destroyed yeah. by yes. the war. Yes. But the people are coming back. And uh, at this point in time, we have been told that this would be a wonderful opportunity for the gospel mm. in the city of Mosul. Yes. So we are seriously thinking about that after Sulaymaniyah. Yes. I mean, you know, like yeah. um, uh, the picture, what I see mostly, it is like um, a new, really way how we reach such a destroyed city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need to uh, work from scratch, yeah. mm -hmm. from zero. Yeah. You know, I, I, let me yeah, say this, yeah, that yeah. somebody might say, OK, well, if it's destroyed mm -hmm. like that, what about the infrastructure? What about the media? Mm -hmm. yeah, well, I, can, I, can, about to ask that. I can tell you, I can tell you this. What is more important? Is it the media or the message? Mm. The message. It's the message. Yes. So even if we have to do it like Jonah did yes. Yes. on foot, yes. speaking, yes. Yeah. That'll happen. I mean, it'll be the believers, the yes. Christians, obviously, who speak Arabic or who speak whatever language, you know, yeah. Kurdish. Yeah. But 
The other thing is that you also have donkeys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you still have the camels, yeah. maybe. It, I mean, so you have... Yeah, you yeah know. it is like yeah. intensive care, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah. And uh, like yeah. if you go to hospital and it is intensive care, you know, section, yeah. you know, you see like 24 hours are some machines working, you know, and people around the patient. Yeah. So it is like, you know, it is a patient in intensive care. So we need to work all together yeah. to take care of this, yeah, sure. you know, a patient. Yeah, as always, sure, which is, and the patient is called Mosul. Yes, Mosul. Yes, yeah. yes. As always, I mean, when we go by faith, when yeah. we hear the call of God, He was yeah. always provide us. So, mm -hmm. As you said, yeah. the message is sure. the sure. important thing. So. Sure. And uh, remember, sure. you know, it is not only you are going. You also consider how uh, great, you know, opportunity mm -hmm. that we take it right now yeah. because if we don't take it yeah. right now we lose it yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. remember remember the contrast mm -hmm. when isis controlled mosul yeah you could not open your mouth and say one word about jesus mm -hmm. if no. you did you died yes yeah. yes and even if you didn't open your mouth if they knew that you were yeah. following yeah, jesus, you yeah. died yeah, yeah. Yes. you died yeah. so the contrast was compare that to now where you can sp speak basically to anybody even if you have to do it on foot or on the back of a donkey, if you don't have the media, yes. yeah. you, the, the opportunity is huge yes. right yeah, now. Yeah. And if you don't use this opportunity, how do you know if another one will ever come? Yeah. I mean, if you the ask search. any church in West, what is your, really your vision? What your role in this, you know, in the sure. earth? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing else except mm -hmm. to preach the gospel yeah. and to build the faith of people. Right. You know? Otherwise, you know, we are serving buildings. Mm -hmm and yeah, we're yeah. coming to Sunday yeah. service, yeah, yeah. everybody feel good yeah, and going yeah, home yeah, and so on. Yeah. This is the you know, core of the, uh, you know, the vision of, for the churches, yeah. you know, in right yeah. now. Yeah. Reach out, yeah. get out from this four. Yeah. Great core. commission. Yeah. I, I really feel that when we're yeah. talking about Iraq and these two cities, mm -hmm. uh, it should be a huge challenge and a huge opportunity for mm -hmm. the Swedish viewers and the churches yeah. and the people our mission family, mm -hmm. new new friends, yes. 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 to really to pray and also invest yeah. financially, so we yeah. can reach. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, th th uh, think about to, to be a part of to reach Shilamania yeah. and Mosul, yeah. and say that to your grandchildren or your to your sure. children. Yes. Uh, yes. In tell them. Ten, ten, twenty yes. years. Sure. You yes. tell them. Yes. Uh, we were there. Tell yeah. them that I. Tell them I made it possible for, yes. for for you know, for a thousand or ten thousand or a hundred thousand yes. uh, Arabs or Kurds to hear the gospel. I made it possible by giving, by being yes. involved. Yes. Yes. I mean, tell that to your grandchildren. Then you say to your grandchildren, "What are you doing for your generation?" Yeah, yeah. and right. what you give, yeah. it right. remains. Sure. Yeah. 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 And we, when we talk about the mission and to stretch out mm -hmm. our hearts and yeah. you know financially mm -hmm. and, and yeah. prayers. We always think about country we know so much about. Mm -hmm. But this is a quite mm -hmm. uncommon uh, uh, yeah. a, a country we don't know so much about. But we, f yeah. we, we feel now yeah. God has opened up, and now yeah. it's an opportunity yeah. to people to give yeah. mm. and to stand together with us in prayer. Right. I mean, right. I'm so excited yeah. to hear about this. Well, why we country. were there in Sulmani as our uh, people came uh, from Dehok. Dehok, it is very north. It's a province. It, yeah, mm -hmm. it is very close to Turkey. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Erbil between Sulmani mm -hmm. and Dehok. <coughs> Dehok is very big also city. So I see, you know, like uh, when we went there, it is mm -hmm. like God is confirming, hey, yeah. You are connecting right you place. to other mm. people. And, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, you have to, you know, mm -hmm. stretch out your hand, and I will be with you. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. we feel also peace, despite of the danger. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and so. But honey, I really want you to to say some mm -hmm. words now at the end of the program, mm -hmm. because you are, and together with Hanno, you are responsible, and mm -hmm. you have been there recently, mm -hmm. and you have met the people. Mm -hmm. yes. And mm -hmm. you have seen them in their eyes, and you have heard mm -hmm. the Macedonian mm -hmm. call. Yes. Mm -hmm. What will you say to the Swedish viewers? Because I think they are touched mm -hmm. right now. Actually, mm -hmm. they are mm -hmm. about Iraq. Yeah. Well, I, I have to say that you know, be obedient to God. You know, when God is mm -hmm. calling you to do something, maybe you can give few amount of money, mm -hmm. or you pray. Or you just, you know, say, okay, God bless you. And just, you know, ask your church to come and to pray for us. Of course, we need every kind of resources, yeah. you know, to reach out. And what you give, it will remain. And mm -hmm. it will bless this generation. Because imagine mm -hmm. that, you know, many, many, they came as refugees to your yeah. country. But they are 
broken heart, you know, and also we wanted to reach people that are on the ground. They cannot go anywhere. They cannot get luxury life or, you know, like a comfortable life. Mm -hmm. So those people there mm -hmm. in, the, in the Islamic nation, especially yeah. in Iraq, yeah. they need a lot of help. Yeah. Come along and you will be blessed and it will be double blessed yeah. for you. Sure. We have seen in our mission work, uh, who once started for more than 40 years ago, we have seen that we are a risk taker. We don't have the resources, but we go, and when we go, God is always providing. We have seen such sure. a miracle in yeah. many ways, and you know it, Hanno. That's right. I mean, it comes to the old truth. I mean, if you can do it all yourself, if, you, if, if, the, if the vision is not bigger than, who, than you are, you don't need God. No, that's right. But if the vision is bigger than yourself, which means the Great Commission, yeah. is much bigger than our sure. human resources mm -hmm. yeah. or our capabilities, yeah. then we need God. And yeah. that's what God wants. He wants your vision to be so big that you cannot do it without Him. Yes. Yeah. And if you take, that faith, you take that step of faith and you say, I will walk out in faith believing that my God, mm. is He is the one that is sending me. He is behind my back mm. and He will be there every day of my life. You will see miracles mm. yeah. happen, yeah. Yeah. even in Sweden. Mm. Yeah. If you take the risk yeah. and you step out of your little boat and yeah. you do what God has told you to do, yeah. you will see His miracles. Yes. You will not see God move yes. if you don't exercise faith. Yes, yeah. yes. That's, that's, that's true. true. Yeah. So, brothers, the time yeah. is running away yeah. when we have good programs. And this is very good, informative, and yeah. hot news from Iraq. Sure. sure. So, uh, that's right. We have a tidning, as you probably know. We know that it's called Media Mission. Here you have the picture. Och den kan du beställa på vår uh, nya hemsida. Har du inte sett det så har den alldeles uh, för ett tag sedan släppts en helt ny sida. Ny layout, ny grafik. Där kan du beställa tidningen. Prata med dina vänner, din granne, alla du umgås med. Som, du kanske är med i en kyrka. Beställ tidningen, ta del av vår information. Det är så viktigt att uh, du står med och ber för oss. Vi behöver din förbundshjälp. Vi har ett 90-konto som betyder att du kan ge med, med trygghet. Och vi står under statlig insamlingskontrollsmyndighet i Sverige. Kontonumret är 90-03-07-0. Du ser det på skärmen nu. Och vi har också ett swishnummer som är 123-45-4822. Det kan du ge med din, med din smartphone redan nu ikväll. Mm. Skriv upp det här swishnumret så kan du precis vilken tid på dygnet kan du ge en gåva till vårt arbete. Vi tror att det bästa ligger framför och we are so excited to hear about what God will do in Iraq and we will come back in, the, in, the, in the more programs about this of course. Absolutely. Thank you so much Hanni. Tack så mycket. En Hanno. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Och du som lyssnar vill vi ge det bästa vi kan och det är Guds rika välsignelse. Tack till någon.